So I have, um, I do take medication for ADHD, but I've read that you kind of, it, it's pretty hard to actually get those accommodations. So I'm wondering if it's even worth it. Um, I know, um, I mean, everybody would do better with more time, but I know that I would um, for sure, because <laughs> I, as I study without timing, I know that I can get the questions right, but then it's uh, thinking about having that crunch time that really worries me. Um, and I also struggle with test anxiety. So I'm hoping that I can work through that and kind of uh, practice in conditions that'll kind of mimic what it'll be like on test day. But do you have any advice on that? Like, is it just kind of a don't even try or should I talk to my doctor and see if they can do something? I don't, I'm not sure where to go with that. Yeah, I'm really glad you brought this up, actually, because it has become much easier in recent years to get extra time accommodations. LSAC has been oh, sued really? by a lot of people over the years, and they've since softened their requirements around that. And so if you can get the documentation, especially if you have a history, then it's not oh. that hard to get extra time. And so time and a half mm -hmm. is very reasonable to request. You could get double time sometimes, but double time actually becomes pretty long with a five section exam. So you might actually want time right. and a half rather than double time. But I would start that process as soon as possible. Okay. It takes a while to get the paperwork together and then it takes a while for LSAC to process right. it. So do that sooner rather than later. I, I would work on that ASAP. I would do that now, then do the rec letters and then deal with everything else. Okay, okay. And so, I know that they used to star your results. Did it, can they still do that? Because I heard that there was some kind of lawsuit that um, caused them to not be able to do that anymore. You Correct. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so that's one other result of these lawsuits is that aside from it being easier to get accommodations like extra time, they do not mark the, the score reports of those accommodated test takers. And so law schools will never know whether you got extra time or not when you're applying. You're treated just the same. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.